All right, what's happening? I'm about to watch this video right here. Uh, transgender female MMA fighter uh, brutally injures female opponent. Where is that? Uh, yeah, that light's too bright to get the subtitles. There, there it is. So, uh, I mean, when you actually look at it like this, I mean, listen, if you want to be a transgender, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's right. I don't. I'm not. I don't know. It's but I do believe what is right. It's your body to do with what you think you whatever you think is uh good in your own eyes. I guess you know. Uh. Uh. But I mean, just cause a guy cuts off his weenus, uh. You know, sucks out his boobs like they do in jail with the plunger. The guys, the sodomite guys do that like men to, you know, rape them or whatever. Uh, it's a different story. But out here in, in the professional world, okay, listen, a transgender that is not really a female. It's a transgender. So it, it's like that's like putting a guy up against a little chick in a professional setting. And I'm sorry, just men are built more for uh, physical action. I mean, not to say that doesn't always mean that a guy's going to win, but uh, it's just, it's not fair and it's stupid that people are, it's two plus two equals five. Listen, I don't care if you put a wig on it, cut off the pee pee. Uh, it's still a guy. It's just a guy that got his pee pee chopped off and is running around masquerading and woman's clothing i don't care if on the inside if you feel like you're a woman well your anatomy says otherwise and you need to look into the gay bomb which is they developed the cia developed a bomb that they could basically spray these pheromone chemicals over a populace or put them in the water or whatever and all the men wouldn't want to fight because they would they would want gay sex you know what i'm saying uh instead of fighting to the point like this chemical is so strong that it takes over your sexual drive towards homosexuality and they could you they've they've actively sought to weaponize homosexuality through pheromones and chemicals and is this a side effect of that i mean it's uh 50 years ago there wasn't so many people with these desires and urges i mean uh people get complexes from being molested as children and then they grow up uh, covering for their molester because it's so embarrassing and then they get these ideas planted into their mind and they get psychological conditions that that bring about this type of things as well that people aren't looking into by saying this is normal but what did someone molest them you know what i'm saying as a kid and did it mess with their uh psychology you know did it mess with their personality it's possible you know, that's a traumatic thing. It's PT it's another form of PTSD. When you can't remember what happened to you because it was so horrific when you were young and taken advantage of that you grow up with these conditions and you don't even know it, you know, but you just got to be aware that these things happen. You know what I'm saying? And they are going on. And, and just look how, how stupid this really is when you look at it. Like, you know, uh, if you want to have man versus women co-ed, fighting let that be let these transgender folk be in that so they you know so you know you're aware of what you're stepping into because a woman in a competitive fair fight should fight another woman i mean you do see these women though that are big and there is uh you know a class of woman that is is bigger and uh tougher than you know your skinny prissy type chick so that that is natural but this right here on the other hand you still you still, your anatomy was a man, so you're still a man, 